Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to t and &E Magazine. You're watching The Real Deal with Keith Trent. So, let's just jump right into it, guys. Fences. My goodness, what a fantastic film. It's so rare that we get great films that translate from the stage to, the, uh, to film. And this is one of those movies that gets it right. I mean, Denzel Washington and Viola Davis, could you really mess that up? No. These guys, they picked up right where they left off in the theater, and if you didn't get to see it, it's something you're gonna love now. Um, I mean, Fences is a very well-known play. It's been around for a really long time. We all think of James Earl Jones over here uh, because of his fantastic stage performance um, in the 80s, and Denzel has picked up right where he left off. I know James Earl Jones is smiling when he saw this movie because it was fantastic. The relationship between Viola Davis and Denzel Washington is electric on screen, and it's something that you are not going to want to miss. There's a reason why she didn't want an award already for this film, and you're going to see why when you check it out. Uh, also, we have the movie Lion, which is based on a true story. It is a harrowing tale of an orphan from India, or say a child from India, who becomes an orphan when he gets lost after being separated from his brother and gets transported 1,500 kilometers away from home at five years old, having no way to find his way back to his family. He is then adopted by an Australian family, taken in um, the mother played by Nicole Kidman, who is fantastic. The way that she just shows uh, her love for this child that she's brought into her world, who is clearly an underprivileged child and has missed so much and is trying so hard to get back to his family. He is forced to then, you know, uh, become a part of this brand new culture that is so much different than his own. And then when he becomes an adult, we get to watch him try to journey back to his family. And there's just no words that I can even use to explain to you how incredible this tale is. I mean, it's, it's, it's real and you feel every emotion that this character goes to and you're just cheering him on, like hoping he's gonna get back to his family and find them. And it, it's, it's a movie that will really compel you and you're gonna get very invested in this film. So it's definitely one you're gonna wanna check out. Um, also, we have the uh, action movie Sleepless, starring Jamie Foxx. I mean, I can stop right there. Everybody loves Jamie Foxx. We also have Gabrielle Union in there, um, and some great uh, cameo performances. We have a fantastic villain, which is everything that you want to see in an action movie. I mean, it doesn't do more than it needs to do. It is short, sweet, and to the point, and it's going to keep you on the edge of your seat. There's lots of action. There's great car chases, great fight sequences. The type of action movie that you want in a big blockbuster with big stars. Um, and finally, we also have Zodiac Sign uh, coming up, which is a, a BET movie. I haven't seen it just yet, but when you get that review, you're going to love it. I can already tell by the trailer that it looks like a very interesting love story. One of those movies that we love to see on BET that shows our people in the right light, shows our creativity, shows our, um, our range. So definitely looking forward to checking that out and letting you guys know about it as well as Jane the Virgin will be returning on January 23rd, one of my personal favorite uh, new shows since the moment it started. Um, it's telenovela style um, in the way in which the characters uh, live their lives and the way the story is told, yet at the same time has such heart and, and, and is layered, has such layered depth that you know, you take the ride with the with the characters everywhere they go, and no matter what ridiculous plots are thrown in in the writing, you still believe it because they somehow find a way to make every scene genuine. Um, I think it's a light in which we see the Latina family that is very rarely shown on television these days, and I think it's something you guys will really enjoy. Um, I've definitely uh, watched a lot of this of the past seasons, and I think it's something that we're going to be looking forward to where they're going to take off from the last the last cliffhanger that they left us at. So definitely check out my reviews where you can find a lot more information that I'm going to tell you about the movies. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like my reviews, if you like the movies, if you if the reviews made you want to see the movie or the TV show more, that's awesome because that's what I'm here to do. All right, thanks guys. Again, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, TNE Magazine, as well as follow us on social media at TNE Mag. And don't forget to check out our website at tnemag.webs.com. Thanks again, guys. I'm looking forward to your input.